I'm going to do something a little different today with this review. This is an aromatherapy diffuser and I've reviewed a lot of these so I'm very <coughs> excuse me familiar with how they work so I thought that I would unbox this one on my video and show you just how easy they are to set up and this one in particular. So if I can open the box Okay, so first you have your instructions. Typically, I don't read these because they all say a similar thing. Just saying don't tip it over, don't overfill it, keep it full, that type of thing. So, here's the actual unit itself. And then, underneath here is the plug and then it comes with this one is nice it comes with a little uh, fill container and it ha I don't know if you can see it but it's got the mark <coughs> excuse me markings on the side for how much water is in it typically um, units like this take about 110 milliliters uh, which is about a half cup of water you can use tap water with these, but uh, more often than not, the manufacturer is going to recommend um, using distilled water because it doesn't have the mineral buildup that um, tap water has, and so it will extend the life of your machine. So, okay, so this unit has a light feature and a mist feature, and it looks like you can use them both independently. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it in, just like that, the bottom, and then I'm going to open it up, I'm going to plug mine in, there, so, oh, that's interesting, okay, so looks like this one, so here's the max fill level. And then when you're dumping the water out to change the water, that's the side you've got to dump on. This is unusual. I haven't ever seen a, 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 a diffuser that has the specified where you're supposed to dump it from. But that's interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill it up with water. And as you see, I'm using tap water. Most people don't have distilled water on hand. And, yep, that's about a half cup, just slightly under. Mm -hmm. So then at this point, um, you would add your um, essential oils. And you put the cover on. This particular cover um, has a little locking mechanism, so you could pick up the whole thing. Okay, so... If you press the button, you go through a cycle of lights uh, without the diffuser being on. And then if you press it again, it stays the same color. Yep, it stays the same color. So that's how you control that. And you can just cycle through all the different colors. And then it should turn off. Oh, there, I, it did turn off. I just went through the... There, so that's off again. So then I'm going to... So you can use the light independently without the, the mister. So now I'm just going to turn on the mister. And if this one is typical of other experiences, it should start immediately. And it did. What do you know? So now I'm going to turn on the light and the diffuser at the same time. I don't know if you can see that, but it is it is actually creating a water vapor. It's cool touch, so it's not going to burn you uh, safe around kids and pets. But yeah, that's very nice. A unit like this typically will run three to four hours before running itself dry. And... Uh, so that's about all I can say about it. 